Life with France. My name is Van der Puchert, and this is Finding Frequency. I thought long and hard about the topic of this podcast. I didn't know if I should do it, but here goes. For some time, I've been thinking about Francie and all the things he gets up to. And especially in the last couple of weeks, he's been doing some strange things. Now, I've never thought, or let me say this, I've positioned myself in a way that I'm not going to ever judge my son. My parents have been very open-minded and they've kind of allowed me to do the things that I need to do. And the only thing I can really think back that they've given me is love and support. And I want to do that. But I'm going to go one further, looking around what's happening in the world at the moment. I want to make sure that I'm going to be tolerant. And tolerance is probably the wrong word, because who am I to tolerate anybody? It means I'm judging them in a way. But I am going to be cool with whatever Franzi decides to do. If he wants to be he, she, or it, that's cool. He's my boy, or my it, or my they. I accept him. He's awesome. I love him so much. I don't care what his decisions in life are, except for the fact that he needs to respect the planet, respect other people, and live with empathy and respect. Of course, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I need to still figure that out. But this might sound a little bit heavy. It's not supposed to be. Because even though I wanted to keep things open and simple, I realized this last week that I think Francie might be a real, honest, homegrown little boy. Now, I'm very careful to categorize things. Girls do this, boys do that. That's a big mistake. I've had some crazy ladies in my life, friends, former ladies, sorry, Martha, who have done all kinds of crazy stuff. They will not be typecasted. Even Marta, you know, she's not a typical lady. Marta kicks ass. Sometimes she kicks my ass. But why am I saying Francie is becoming a real little boy? The strange thing is, and I know you're going to point a finger at me, I'm not teaching him any of this. My mouth hangs open when he does these things. And even this morning, he did it again. He walks up to me, looks with me with a little twinkle in his eye, and then he says, Tata, close your eyes. And of course, I submit, and I close my eyes. And then it comes through, a big, giant fart. Open my eyes, look at him, and he laughs himself, folding double on the floor, thinking it's super funny. And Marta and I have been living like this for the last couple of weeks. It's probably been going on now for three weeks, where he has now discovered the art of farting. Everything ends with, or perhaps a day starts with a fart. It's super funny. But it's not only about producing a fart. It's how he goes around tricking me into listening to him farting. Sometimes he will just walk up to me, turn around, fart, laugh, and walk off. Sometimes he will set it up like he did yesterday. Close your eyes. Or he'll walk up and say, listen, Tata, listen to this. Or look at this. I don't even want to talk about some of the other things he does. But it, I can only categorize it as like real boy things. I don't know. Perhaps you have a go. Do they do these crazy fart things? Now, I don't want this podcast to be about farting, but there you have it. It's become a thing in our house with a little three-year-old, and perhaps it's another phase that he's going through. But he thinks it's funny. Well, there you have it. I've done a podcast about this topic. Well, there you have it. I never thought I would ever do a podcast about this topic. And perhaps this time I need to say, Thanks for not listening to what's going on in our house.